fractions. Add two proper and mixed fractions with different denominators. If you add fractions with the same denominator together, you just add the numerators. One third plus one third. It's the same as one plus one over three, which equals two over three or two thirds. If the denominators are different, we need to find a common denominator. One third plus one quarter. The common denominator is 12. To convert a third into twelfths, we multiply the top and the bottom by four. So we end up with four twelfths. And to convert a quarter into twelfths, we multiply the top and the bottom by three. We end up with three twelfths. So now we have four plus three over twelve. Four plus three is seven. We end up with seven twelfths. We can only add apples to apples. We can't add apples and oranges. You can find the lowest common denominator. Let's find the lowest common denominator here. 5 tenths plus 3 twelfths. The lowest common denominator is 60. To convert tenths to sixtieths, we multiply the top and the bottom by 6. So we end up with 30 sixtieths. And to convert twelfths, we multiply the top and the bottom by 5. 15 sixtieths. It gives us a total of 30 plus 15 sixtieths or 45 sixtieths. We can simplify this further by dividing the top and the bottom by 15 and we end up with 3 over 4 or 3 quarters. Or we could just multiply the denominators together. 2 6 plus 3 8. If we multiply the denominators 6 times 8 is 48. We'll use that as our common denominator. To change from 6, we multiply the top and the bottom by 8, 16 over 48. And to change from 8, we multiply the top and the bottom by 6, so we end up with 18 over 48. Now we can add them together. 16 plus 18 equals 34, 34 over 48. And we can simplify this by dividing both the top and the bottom of the fraction by 2. We end up with 17 over 24. It doesn't have to be the lowest common denominator that we use. If your answer is over 1, you can convert it into a mixed fraction. Let's look for the common denominator, sevenths and ninths. 7 times 9 is 63, we use that. To convert sevenths to 63, we multiply the top and the bottom by 9, 36 over 63. And to convert ninths, we multiply top and the bottom by 7. So it's 56 over 63. Now we can add them together. 36 plus 56 equals 92 all over 63. This is a top heavy or an improper fraction. So we can convert it to create a mixed fraction. It's the same as 1 whole and 29 over 63. Sometimes you might have a mixed fraction in the addition. One eighth plus one and one quarter. Keep the whole numbers separate. So we have one, and then we need to find a common denominator for the fractions, four and eight. The common denominator is 16. To convert an eighth to 16, we multiply top and bottom by two, two sixteenths. And to convert quarters to 16, we multiply the top and the bottom by 4, so it's 4 sixteenths. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 4 over 16. 2 plus 4 is 6, so we have 1 plus 6 over 16. We can simplify this further by dividing the top and the bottom of the fraction by 2. So we end up with 1 and 3 over 8. Sometimes both fractions might be mixed. 3 and 3 quarters plus 1 and 5 sixths. We add the whole numbers separately and then find a common denominator for the fractions. We've got quarters and sixths. A common denominator would be 12. So we have 3 plus 1 and then we convert our fractions. Multiply the top and the bottom by 3, 9 twelfths. And then multiply the top and the bottom by 2, which is 10 twelfths. So we have 3 plus 1, which is 4, 
plus 9 plus 10 twelfths. And 9 plus 10 equals 19 twelfths. Again, this is a top heavy or improper fraction, so we can create a mixed fraction. It's the same as 4 plus 1 and 7 twelfths. That's the same as 5 plus 7 twelfths, or 5 and 7 twelfths. Remember, when adding fractions with the same denominator, we just add the numerators. If the denominators are different, we need to find a common denominator. Multiplying the denominators together will always give us a common denominator. If you're asked to simplify your answer, remember to do the same to both the top and the bottom of the fraction to keep it balanced. And if you have mixed fractions, add the whole numbers and then the fractions separately.